Hello everyone, my name is Jennifer and welcome to Best Kept Plans. Today's video is going to be a cash envelope stuffing for the paycheck that I received on September 29th, 2022 using the printable version of the Budget by Paycheck workbook from The Budget Mom. If you're interested in seeing that, please stick around. Okay, we are all zoomed in and ready for the cash envelope stuffing. As usual, I'm zoomed in so you can see my cash envelope breakdown, but that does mean that some of my bills are cut off. So I do have some hundreds up top and some fives and singles down below that you cannot see. I want to start out with my emergency fund. I talk about this envelope, every cash envelope stuffing, basically at the end of every pay period. If I have any cash left over in my miscellaneous envelope, my gas envelope, my eating out envelope, I will put that money into this emergency fund envelope. My goal is to get to $1,000 and once I do, I'll empty this envelope. I'll put it into my emergency fund checking account, which is already an established checking account at my bank and then I'll start over again. So with the last pay period, I, um, I ended up being able to put $100 into here, which is pretty awesome. I didn't get any gas last pay period, which was great, um, mostly because I ended up with COVID. So I was, <laughs> I didn't go to, I didn't drive for five days basically. Um, and three of those days were work days. So that's pretty much why I didn't need gas last pay period. So that definitely puffed up what I was able to put into here. So we should have $474 in this envelope, which we're gonna count right now. 50, 100, 150, 200, 250, 300, 320, 40, 60, 80, 400, 420, 40, 50, 51, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 61, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 70, 71, 72, 73, 474. So we do have that $474 in here. Very exciting. This is definitely getting stuffed up. We're almost halfway to that $1,000 goal. Next, we're gonna focus on my variable expense cash envelopes. Again, that's my eating out gas and miscellaneous envelopes. I did print out new cash envelopes for myself since we're heading into a new month. Um, these envelopes are the speckled, I think, envelopes are available on my Etsy shop, which is always linked down below. And we're gonna start out with my eating out envelope. This is gonna get $75 in a $50 bill, a $20 bill, and a $5 bill. So we have 50, 70, 75. And I did update the envelope on the back to show the deposit, but also that I am gonna pull that $5 bill out to put in my $5 challenge. Next, we have my gas envelope. This is the same exact deal. I'm gonna pull $75 out in a 50, a 20, and a five. So we have 50, 70, 75. And same thing with the deposit, but also pulling out that $5 bill to put in my $5 challenge. Lastly, for my variable expense cash envelopes, we have my miscellaneous envelope. I am going to be pulling out $150, and I'm gonna do that in two $50 bills, two $20 bills, a $5 bill, and five singles, and I think I only have five singles. One, two, three, four, five, yes. So my singles are gone. Let's count this all up. 50, 100, 120, 40, 45, 46, 47, 48, 49, 150. Now, I use these denominations because I know I have to pull out cash for my um, 52 week challenge, but one thing I did not remember was to include my 2022 savings challenges from the budget mom uh, for October in my October monthly spread. I hadn't done that yet. And so I totally didn't factor in this $17 that I have to pull out for my 2022 challenges. So I'm gonna see what I'm left with after I pull out my 52 week challenge. I'm gonna see if I can make change for myself somewhere and then um, pull out for the 2022 challenge for October. Kind of forgot about that. <laughs> All right, next we're gonna focus on my sinking funds. When it comes to my sinking funds, I always use largest denominations possible so that my envelopes don't get too full with cash. For travel, we're gonna be putting in $50 in a single $50 bill, 
Now this envelope currently has quite a bit of cash in it. With this deposit, it's got 22.52, but this is going to drop by over $1,000 because um, I purchased my flights for my upcoming vacation. I'm going on vacation at the end of October, but I haven't gotten the statement yet, which is why I haven't pulled the money from here. When I get that statement and I know the total, I'll also be able to use my cash back from my credit card that I used to book it towards that total. And then that'll let me, let me know how much I have to pull out of this envelope. So that's why this envelope has so much cash in it right now. It's definitely gonna go down. Let's count this up. We have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, 1,000. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, 2,000. 21, 21, 50, 22, 22, 50, 22, 51, 22, 52. I'm thinking by next pay period, I'll probably have gotten that statement for my credit card and then taken the cash out of here. So keep an eye on that for next, uh, next cash envelope stuffing. For Christmas, we are gonna be pulling out $25 in a $20 bill and a $5 bill. So we have 20 and 25 here. And that deposit is on the back. So we should have a total of $50 in this envelope now. 20, 40, 45, 50. Not quite enough to check off anything on the front here, but we're really close to being able to mark off that first line. For subscriptions, we're gonna be putting in $15 in a $10 bill and a $5 bill. And with this deposit, we're gonna have a total of $30 in this envelope. So let's count that up. We have 10, 20, 25, 30. And this I was able to mark off the first line on my tracker, which is really exciting. Medical is going to be getting $20 and that's going to be in a single $20 bill. With this deposit, we should have $40 in this envelope, 20, 40. Let me just straighten that out there. So we do have the $40. I'll put that back in this envelope. We weren't quite at the first marker for my tracker, but with our next paycheck, uh, we will be. We now have car maintenance. This is a um, cash envelope that I've been, or a sinking fund, I should say, that I've been working on for a while. So you can see that my tracker has definitely made some progress. We're gonna be taking $50 out in a single $50 bill. This has always been a rolling sinking fund for me, but because I have a newer car, my plan is to get to a goal of $1,000 and then stop contributing to this for a while. Um, so with this deposit, we should have a total of $653. Let's count that up. One, 152, 253, 354, 455, 556, 650, 651, two, 653. So we are more than halfway to our goal, which is very exciting. Um, It'll be nice to not have to contribute to this consistently. <clears throat> Next, we have my car insurance and taxes. Um, I have car insurance. I pay it annually every July. And in my state, I do have car taxes, which I pay annually every July. So I use this cash envelope to save up for that because it's a really large expense for me. Um, I ha was able with this deposit to mark off the first line on my tracker, which was really exciting. Um, this envelope does get a large chunk of money. It gets $110 and we're gonna do that in a $100 bill. And my last, oh no, not my last $10 bill. So we have 110 and with the cash from last stuffing, we should have 220 in here. So let's count that up. One, two, two, 10, 220. Very exciting. This is one of those ones that's gonna grow so quickly. Makes me very happy. Alrighty. And then we have birthdays, which is going to get $25 in a $20 bill and a five dollar bill so we have 25 right here with the uh, deposit from last week we should have a total of 50 dollars in this envelope so let's count that up 20 40 45 50.
Oh, and I was able to mark off the first line on the tracker, which is awesome. And then lastly for my sinking funds is my holidays envelope. This is another one where I was able to mark off my first line on my tracker. We're gonna be contributing $20 in a single $20 bill. With the deposit from last time, we should have a total of 40, and that is what's in that envelope. So I'm gonna put those two 20s back and we will be done with my sinking funds. Now we have two things left on here. So the first is my 2022 challenge. If you watched my budget with me, I was talking all about how I have to come up with a sum. It's based on the change in my checking account. I can't do it until the day I get paid. And then I flipped to my cash envelope stuffing and I realized, or I remembered that I had gotten kind of antsy and annoyed with that and I just did it by checking my change in my checking account but I did it like two days early <laughs> so I knew I was pulling out 60 so I do need my let me pull out all these envelopes actually um I do need my September 2022 challenge envelope for this and so we're going to pull out $60 in a $50 bill and my last $10 bill so that's what we have right here and with that deposit, oh, I didn't even write it on here. Let's see. So this is 929. I'm actually filming this on the 30th, but that was my payday. We're doing $60. Oh gosh, I'm so bad at math. Uh, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20, 21. So it would be uh, 219 then. All right, so we should have, if my math was correct, 219 in this envelope. So let me add these bills in and we'll count it up, 219. So 50, 100, 20, 40, 60, 80, 90, 200, 210, 215, 16, 17, 18, 19. So we do have 219 in here, which is great. And that's it for September uh, 2022 saving challenge contributions. Next, we have my rent, which I totally forgot to write in here when I was doing my budget with me. Um, so this wasn't listed there. I ended up having to change all my denominations and everything because I forgot to include that. Um, so that should be all the cash we have left. And I always pull my rent in 300s and 650. So let's count it up. One, two, three, 354, 455, 556. So $600 are here. I'm gonna just put this aside. I don't have an envelope for my rent. Um, but the next two things that we have to do are contribute to my 52 week challenge and see if we can do my October 2022 savings challenges. So I'm gonna flip to the back where I have my 52 week challenge tracker right here. Been working on this since the beginning of the year, which is really exciting. So I always, um, I did this uh, challenge, you know, forwards to backwards this time, like starting at one, ending at 52. Um, next year, I think I'm gonna do it in reverse. I always contribute to two weeks at a time because I get paid bi-weekly. So for this paycheck, it's weeks 39 and weeks 40, and I'm gonna check both of those off. So if you add 39 and 40, it equals to 79. So I'm gonna pull that from my miscellaneous envelope, which is right here. Here's my miscellaneous envelope. I already wrote on the back that I have to take out $79. So I'm gonna pull this out of here. I'm gonna do that in a 50, 60, 70, 75, 76, and 7, 78, 79. Okay, so we should have $79 here. Let's count it together. 50. 60, 70, 75, 76, 77, 78, 79. Perfect. I'm gonna put that aside for a second. After the $79, we should have 71 left for my miscellaneous envelope. So we have 50, 70, 71. I'm gonna put that back in here. And then uh, I'm gonna take this $79 we just pulled out of my miscellaneous envelope. I'm gonna add it to my 52 week challenge envelope. Uh, and oh no, I didn't add. <laughs> I thought I updated all my envelopes. Man, I was slacking. So this is 929. We're doing a deposit. We're adding $79. And I don't know what that math is going to be. So we'll see what the total is once I count it up. 
So let me put all the bills in where they belong. Five, 20 and a 50, okay. I think it should be 810. I think $810, so we'll see, okay? One, two, three, 354, 455, 20. Oh, I think I counted that wrong. Uh, I think I counted that wrong. Because it's 740. Okay. Oh, no, no, no. I think it should be 19. 819, maybe. I think. 819. Okay, let's try that again. 1, 2, 300. 354, 455, 556, 650, 700, 720, 40, 60, 770, 780. 785, 90, 95, 800, 805, 806, 807, 8, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 820. Okay, so we're going with 820. Hopefully that's correct. I'll check it on a calculator after. I mean, I guess if you have 740 plus yeah, 740 plus 80 basically is what it is. Um, so 74, 74, 75, 76, 80, 81, 82. Yeah, so 820. Should be 820. Oh my gosh. I'm so bad at math. <laughs> Thank God for calculators. All right, so that's the 52 week challenge. We've added that all in. And then if I bring you all to my October monthly. Okay, so I write everything in my October monthly. I'll zoom you all out so that this is just a little easier to see. But basically, I did my 52 week challenge. So I did the 39 and the 40. But I need $3 and $14. So that adds up to be $17. I also just did my rent. Um, and I don't have 17 in my miscellaneous envelope. But I do have a $20 bill. So I need to make change for this 20. So let me go into my emergency fund because that's probably the easiest way to do it. And I need to make change for $20. So oh, it's gonna be so many singles, but that's okay. So we'll do 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 18, 19, 20. Okay, so this is $20, this is $20. I'm putting the $20 bill in with my emergency fund again. Let's count the emergency fund up again. 474. 1, 2, 3. 320, 40, 60, 84. 420, 40, 60, 61, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 71, 2, 3, 4. Okay. So we do have 474 still in my emergency fund. And that did help to slim down my emergency fund a little bit, which is nice. So put that aside, we should still have $71 in my miscellaneous envelope. 50, 60, 61, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 71. So now I need to take 17 of those dollars out. So 10, get the 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, okay. So we should have $54 left, and we do. So the 54 is what's going into my miscellaneous envelope. And I can spend that over the next two weeks as I'd like. And then this $17 is gonna go into my October envelope. And one thing I noticed when I printed this out and went to put it together is that it didn't come with a tracker on the back, which is kind of funny. Um, when you purchase the Budget Moms 2022 Savings Challenges, it comes with like, a sheet of paper explaining the challenge for each challenge and then it comes with a cash envelope for every month so for some reason they forgot to put the tracker on the back but that's okay i'll be able to just add up what's in there so 17 dollars in my october uh 2022 savings challenge envelope we are officially done with everything involving september for my budget 
Again, I'm filming this on the 30th, the day after I got paid. So I am going to close out my budget today, which is really exciting and see how I did with regards to sticking with my budget. And tomorrow is a new month, the month of October. Very excited for the month of October. Uh, I hope you all enjoyed this cash envelope stuffing. If you have any questions or comments, please don't hesitate to put them down below. And as always, everyone, please be safe. Bye-bye.